is still up for grabs. Will America's team seize the opportunity to claim the division crown? And the Cowboys are back on top. Plus, former teammates run it back in the film room. After the game, we watch film on this more than the actual game. And two of the most dynamic QBs of all time compare highlights. Hands down, one of the greatest players I've ever seen. On NFL Game Day Kickoff. <laughs> Welcome to NFL Game Day Kickoff. Well, this year hasn't gone as planned for Lamar and the Ravens, but there is still time to turn things around. Look at look at those outfits. Oh my goodness, I love those sweaters happening right there. Uh, so Marquise Brown there with him with amazing shoes as well. So no time like the present to start to get things going tonight for the Ravens. Happy Tuesday, everybody. What a delight to be here with you. I'm Colleen Wolf, Steve Smith Sr. and Joe Thomas, Michael Irvin as well, all on deck, ready to get in here. But first, a trip through what's been a nightmare couple of weeks for the Ravens as they work through a COVID outbreak that's caused last week's game against the Steelers to be rescheduled three times. 17 players missed that game last Wednesday, but far fewer will be out tonight, including Lamar Jackson. Unfortunately for the Ravens, Mark Andrews, Willie Sneed, and Matthew Judon remain on the COVID list and will not play tonight. So the Ravens have no time to lose at this point, currently on the postseason bubble, and things didn't get easier Sunday after the Browns, Dolphins, Colts, Raiders, and Patriots all kept pace in the wild card race with wins. As for the Cowboys, well, they haven't played since Thanksgiving when the offense, defense, and special teams all took a personal day, highlighted by one of the worst timed fake punts in recent memory. The Cowboys lost to Washington 41 to 16, their fifth loss in the past six games. And then there's Washington, who did this yesterday. Fourth quarter, two minutes left, Steelers down three and driving until, well, they were cut off by Montez Sweat, intercepted by John Bostic, and the Steelers lose their first game of the 2020 season. Washington there, 23 to 17. Chase Young loves it. So despite that win, the football team trails the Giants because New York swept them this season. The Cowboys are last in the NFC East at three and eight, but they do have the easiest strength of schedule remaining in the division. And then, well, there's the Eagles. Doug Peterson made it official today. Carson Wentz will not start Sunday against the Saints. Instead, it'll be rookie Jalen Hurts making his first career NFL start. Hurts went 5 of 12 for 109, a touchdown and a pick against the Packers Sunday. So right about here feels like a good spot for tonight's protection spotlight presented by Allstate. Steve, this has been a uh, very interesting subject in the city of Philadelphia. Do you agree with the decision to start Jalen Hurts? Well, it sure can't hurt you. All it can do is help you. What The way he played Sunday, you can see that it gave that team a little bit of a little pep in their step. You can see some things. Yes, he's young, but also, too, he doesn't have all the weight that Carson has on his shoulders. He just gets to go out there and sling it around. He's not supposed to be there. He's playing with house money, so I think it's a good move. Now, I'm not Carson Wentz, but I don't think it helps Carson Wentz. But also, too, unfortunately, they have to do something to spark this team up because they have too much talent to be playing at this level. Steve, when you talk about, first of all, it's Philadelphia. So nobody gets a pass in Philadelphia. Yeah. I don't care where he got drafted. It's Philadelphia. But this could be something good for, for the young Wentz. So let's be real. You talked about the weight that he's carrying. You know, he comes to work every day. There's a statue of the guy that won Nick Foles, his Super Bowl. And now, and then they draft a quarterback oh. to, to, to replace him instead of finding a, a, a better, uh, finding him some more help at the wide receiver position. So yes, he's, he, this has been hard on him mentally. So maybe some time away is good. And I want to see what Jalen Hurts can do. I, I want to see what he can do without that pressure. Because I believe Wentz will continue to have turnovers. 19 already leads the NFL. He's been sacked more than anybody in the NFL. 
because he's always going to try to do too much and all of his talent is not around him. He's in a tough situation. Sitting him down may be good for him mentally. So now every single team in the NFC East will have a different starting quarterback week 14 than they had week one of the season. Joe, at this point, what do you think the future holds for Carson Wentz in Philly? Do you think he will start again for the Eagles? Well, Irv is spot on. Carson's dealing with a crisis of confidence. But, you know, and he still possesses all of the traits of the MVP candidate that he was in 2017, including elite decision-making. And I think sitting him down for the rest of the season, clearly it's the right move. And it'll give him that mental reset that he really needs, like a really super long bye week. But more importantly, it's going to allow him to shake off the feeling like he needs to prove that this is his team and that he's deserving of that big franchise quarterback contract, which is something that people are always talking about because you know after letting Hurts finish the season it's not Wentz's team anymore and that won't be the narrative that he has to fight so then I think in the offseason we can see a little bit of a quarterback competition that's truly fair and really whoever the best quarterback is in Philly can win that job and I think in that situation I can see Carson Wentz kind of reverting to the player that is free of that mental baggage that he had when he was an MVP candidate in 2017 and like you mentioned when Nick Foles won his Super Bowl on that great Eagles team. Well, the problem is, though, when you look at it, everybody's saying the same thing. But listen, yes, Nick Foles won the Super Bowl with his team. But ever since, ever since that happened, he Carson is trying to make the splash play. He can't just take what the defense gives him. And so we've heard a lot of narratives come out and say, oh, his confidence isn't shook. Guess what? If that's the first thing coming out your mouth and you're saying that, his confidence <laughs> is shook. You can see it when he's playing. He doesn't take the check down. He doesn't take the easy throw. He tries to make the huge, big play. And guess what? It's not happening. I love Carson Wentz. Great character guy, right? I have one daughter. If a Carson Wentz type of guy came to the doorbell, ding dong, Car Carson Wentz is here. I'm like, great. Hey, take my daughter, come be back at a certain time. You're right, 10, 945, be back, Carson. He'll be there. But as far as playing quarterback, that ain't the guy I want. He does not have the mental capacity as of 2020 to be the starting quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, 2021, that's a different story. But as of today, and everybody keeps talking about he doesn't have enough playmakers, well, Jalen Hurst seemed to found one of those non-playmakers wide open mm -hmm. in the same game that he struggled to find in the game. So I don't believe that necessarily. Well, we're, we're about to see what Jalen Hurts can do with this squad uh, uh, for the Philadelphia Eagles, and we'll, we'll get that opportunity tonight. I always talk about two things when we're talking quarterbacks, uh, or talking any, any talent. I'm talking talent shoulders down, and this kid, talent shoulders down, has everything you need to be a very good quarterback in the National Football League. Uh, uh, now, now, his issues shoulders up may be something different, and maybe need somebody to help work him through that. And even rather he starts again in Philadelphia or not, maybe another spot with, with, without that baggage will be a good place for uh, Carson Wentz. But you better believe, you better believe, because of those gifts he has shoulders down, he are, in Philadelphia or somewhere else, he will get another shot to start Absolutely. in the National Football League. Just spot yeah, Wentz, on, like just you guys spot were on. saying, he's playing. He, Wentz is playing like a guy that's got a lot to lose. And the more that he plays like that, the more he's afraid to let things rip, to see the defense, to throw it in there, and he just clams up. And I think the best thing for him is to take everything away from him. It's not his team anymore. Bench him, sit him down for the rest of the season, and then you're going to get that guy that he was in 2017 when he was playing with nothing to lose. And I think that's the best version of Carson. It's the wildcat. It's the guy who's going to hit his back foot, and he's going to throw the football, or he's going to run around, he's going to make plays. Like, that's where Carson is at his best. He's not afraid to make a mistake, which sometimes for a lot of guys, that's when they play their best, and they actually make the fewest amount of mistakes. The problem with Carson right now, he's so afraid to make a mistake, he doesn't throw it. He takes sacks, and then when he does throw it, it's too late. The guys aren't open anymore, and it becomes a disaster, and it snowballs. So get rid of that, bench him for a little while, and I think he'll be the best version of him when he gets an opportunity again. It snowballed pretty bad for Carson hey, Wentz. Colleen. Right now, he has career 
lows in most passing uh, categories. Yes, Steve. Yes. We talking about Carson Wentz. We, we we're putting him on the uh, you know the, through the meat grinder. We also need to not let Coach Peterson off the hook because he hasn't done a great job of drafting and doing a great game plan as well to assist Carson Wentz. Yeah, and Howie Roseman, the entire front office there. I just know watching the Eagles, uh, it was very different and and maybe.